just to give you somewhat of an idea of where this movie's going to go, it opens up with a Mr. Rogers quote. While you're reading this quote, they put it behind, like, scary music. And then they managed to reference Mr. Rogers several times throughout the story. This werewolf comedy just decides to throw some Mr. Rogers shit in there. That is some funny shit. Werewolves Within is about a park ranger who is sent up north to, I don't know, somewhere that's cold and snowy. This park ranger is sent up there to oversee the construction of a pipeline. Gotta make sure that pipeline doesn't mess with the parks. He checks into the local inn, then makes friends with the mail lady. And they get trapped with a bunch of other folks from town because there's a snowstorm. But also, they might have been trapped with a werewolf among them. Let's have a chat about this cast. I could not name a single fucking person in this movie. But I did say, oh, I know that guy. Or, oh, I know her. Or, uh, that dude. Everyone in this movie is recognizable from other things that they've done. And they're all funny. And they all do a great job. <laughs> if I had to come up with a quick comparison, I'd say, do you remember how, like, Grandma's Boy is? Where... You don't really know anyone in that cast. This movie is like that. There's no big name stars in it. Our park ranger, he's played by Sam Richardson. You know that guy. You've seen him in other stuff. He is your lead protagonist, but he's not your typical hero of the story. He's overly nice, and he is learning how to grow a pair. Please, I need to go. Just hey, you go ahead. Please, don't spare oh, me. Oh, please, me. Don't. Oh, please. <laughs> Please don't Bear bum the luck. Oh my goodness, I could have gotten it. Great character, lots of room to grow, and he was incredibly likable. And that likability really contributed to the comedy. And this character fit in very well with the humor of the entire group. The new male lady of the town is played by Miljana Ventrub. You know, the AT&T girl. Hey, first and foremost, we need to break her away from being known as the AT&T girl. She was fantastic. She's got the acting chops, she's a natural at comedy timing, and she's got the looks. She's a legit actress and she deserves to be in more legit movies. Not just commercials or werewolf comedies. I would just like to see her in more movies. She deserves it. Maybe throw a romantic comedy her way, huh? As far as her character goes, she was a great balance to the nice park ranger guy. And those two had great chemistry. If they had their own TV series, I would watch it. Same characters, different characters. I don't care. They're great together. This character also has a passion for the 90s. Can't be mad at that. As I said, the rest of the cast is a bunch of, oh, I know that guy's, or, oh, I know hers. All of them fit the story in their own way, and I can confidently say that every single character was funny. And I think that this guy was my favorite. How could you possibly not like a werewolf horror comedy? On a whim, I randomly rented this movie and I'm very glad that I did because I thought it was great. From the beginning to the end, I was laughing. This is a hilarious movie. Yes, the cast and the story are funny, but what really stood out for me was the style of editing. I got some serious Edgar Wright movie vibes. Coming from me, that's a large compliment. Seriously, the tone had like a hot fuzz feel to it and I was all for it. I think this movie runs at like a little over an hour and a half, and with that time frame, they don't really leave much room for fuck-ups. It's a solid horror comedy with a very well-assembled cast of funny people. You don't always need a big celebrity in a movie, as long as the rest of the cast does a good job and are naturally funny. Great cast, wonderful casting job. So yeah, I thought this was a fun silly goose time, and it was definitely worth the $7 that I paid for it. And another thing, I found out at the very end of the movie, it's based on a video game? What? Does that make this the best video game movie ever? It might be. Alright, see ya! Subscribe!